Hey, Robert, I wanted to thank you for joining me today. My pleasure. Happy to be here. Uh, I know we were talking offline a little bit, and I, uh, you're with a company called Solbeg that I think is doing some interesting stuff, so I just wanted to spend some time talking about that and share that with people. That sounds great. I'd like to let everybody know just exactly what we're doing out here. Super. Uh, so I guess first off is uh, Solbeg. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, who you guys are and what you do? Yeah, I mean, Solberg, we're a world-class custom software development organization. We've got a full portfolio of IT uh, services uh, and a number of industry-specific solutions that we're bringing to the marketplace. And, uh, you know, what's the sort of problem that you're typically solving for customers? The Solberg delivery models really take the pain and worry out of the offshore delivery process. We provide services that are really focused on being cost effective, very rich in custom design, and more importantly, very high in quality. Um, our, our clients really are, you know, their comments are, we're an easy organization to work with that brings world-class quality, uh, and we're very proud of that. And I think, you know, as someone that's been involved in quite a number of software projects, that's really important, right? You probably hear that a lot, where um, the communication is is always a big issue in these sort of projects. Absolutely. And then you know, probably a, a lot of the issues that you're solving as a result of this is because you've got such talented resources, it's always hard for people to find people in this area. It is. The, the market really is set up um, in, in, I guess you'd call it standard ways, you know, the typical outsourcing models. And a lot of those frustrations, Solbig has built our delivery model to make our process not necessarily unique, um, but really drives home some of the advantages that most organizations can't get from their offshore providers. All of my staff speak business level English. Our communication lines are much stronger than you'll find in typical models. We've also got a senior level staff. We've built our organization hiring top talent from the Belarus region. Uh, we've got individuals that have a flair for technology, but more importantly, really thrive on the innovation that we're doing within all of our development organizations. Um, and it's really those, those skills and capabilities and that experience level that organizations can't find out on the open market. And for people that maybe don't know, uh, maybe just explain where is Belarus and why that's such an important spot. Uh, Belarus is in the Eastern European bloc. Um, you know, part of the advantages there is Belarus is one of the fastest growing technology hubs in the Eastern Bloc. Uh, we've got a very strong base of colleges and universities where we're pulling a, a, a very strong talent pool from. Um, the fact that we've been able to focus in on not just the technical talent, but the communication level of our staff really allows us to provide services really across Europe, Asia, as well as across North America. It's interesting, one point you mentioned was the fact that you're able to pull talent from universities there. And I think that's a big advantage in some of those countries that people aren't aware of, that they have very strong computer science and math programs and engineering, right? Absolutely. And the other thing that we've got a, a, a strong base from is there's a lot of parts of the world that are in the outsourcing marketplace where it's really, you can't hang on to resources. Our turnover levels at Solbig, where we're located in Minsk, Belarus, we don't have the mass turnovers that a lot of organizations have. We have a very strong employee retention programs. Our employees are staying because the technology is being developed here. It's not a, it's not, you know, a feast on talent. We, we're building an organization that has a family atmosphere that's able to really bring quality of life to the software development industry. You know, one of the nice things about the Belarus location, though, is our time zone is very advantageous. When we're working a nine to five East Coast time zone, my staff is only working, you know, four to 12. It's not um, the, the time differential. We're not, we don't have staff working overnight to satisfy a lot of our clients' needs here in the U.S. Uh, the time zone really helps us bring, you know, that quality of life to play. Uh, so our employees really are, you know, we're happy with the, the way the operation runs. There's not a, a question of, you know, who's working great job today and who has a normal life you know, tomorrow, all of our staff, you know, have a very adaptable time schedule that allows them not only to, to excel in the technology world, but have a home life that really is advantageous. Oh, that's really interesting. I hadn't, hadn't thought of that before. 
Um, so who's the typical client for Solveig? In Solveig, we really haven't fine-tuned that client persona, so, so to speak. We're dealing with small organizations, a few startups, but we've also grown exponentially into the larger and in, in the enterprise um, industry space. Um, any size of organization that's looking to take advantages of the, you know, the, the cost benefit, the delivery benefit of outsourcing, you know, we're definitely going to fit the profile for us. So, uh, you know, we, we talked before about, you know, the, really the two problems that you guys solve around one, access to talent, and two, making sure there's still good communication with technical talent. If companies don't solve this, like what's the, what's the cost or what's the pain of them not solving that typically? I mean, ultimately, the, the value for technology outsourcing is you need to be able to control those development costs. You need to make sure you can deliver your product to the market faster. Today's, if you can't get your software fixes or your changes out or new releases out fast enough, your comp competition's going to take over. They're going to beat you to the punch. They're going to steal your clients. You're going to develop a level of frustration uh, with your user base. You need to have a technology organization that can deliver seamlessly, that can almost deliver on demand. And mm -hmm. that's what organizations need from their outsourcing partner is that speeds delivery, a lower cost of ownership so that they can do more development. We can be a little bit more creative. And part of what we're trying to build here with Solbig and our delivery models really is to make sure that not only are we capable of doing the work, but we understand our clients' needs, that we can communicate those back and forth effectively and more importantly, we're bringing a, a level of quality because nothing kills a technology project faster than poor code and poor quality. Mm -hmm. If you redo the code four, five, six times, you're, the, the release time is just gets exponentially higher. By doing it right the first time and ensuring a level of quality, our sole big staff really can ensure that our clients are going to have the confidence and the faith that they're going to have a product ready when they want it under the budget that they estimated, and more importantly, that it's going to fit the business needs that they, they, they designed to begin with. So examples of, um, you know, you're delivering on web-based projects, on mobile, what sort of stuff are you building? You know, so big, you know, we do the traditional application development, whether it's .NET, where we're a Microsoft partner, or, or it's Java development. We're also expanding out into what we're talking, what we, we call that, that digital technology where we're dealing with you know, cloud migrations and dealing with mobile applications, uh, dealing with you know, some of the, the blockchain technologies and, and helping organizations automate those business processes that derive some of their systems, whether it be DevOps, you know, a test automation system, or really building you know, an, an enterprise environment where they can take advantage of the digital tools and technologies that are out there. Oh, that's interesting. So really anything digital or development wise, they can turn to you and have a, have a provider that would help them. And that's part about being, a, you know, a custom software development house. We really are tool agnostic. We've got some core technologies. Uh, but the, one of the things we're striving to do is we built an internal, you know, training program where we're, we have a lab where we're doing, you know, work on what's next. You know, looking at technologies that clients want to get into. Are those feasible? Do those meet the business needs of today? And how can we help enable that for our clients? You know, it comes down to core software development skills, core software development, development practices, but it's looking at the newer technologies and saying, hey, what's working today and what's not? How can I advise my clients best on how to build a, the next level of software that's, that's going to leverage the tools that are out there, but more importantly, still be, meet the business needs with the confidence of deliverable you know, those deliverables everyone needs to ensure their client and business satisfaction. So I know before you said that you, you've kind of dealt with smaller organizations, startups, as well as mid-market enterprise. What are some of the industries that you've worked in? You know, we, we, we've been fortunate to work off a number of industries. We've had a real strong client base in the financial services and the insurance industry. The oil and gas industry, we've done some very neat custom solutions in that space. Um, consumer products and manufacturing have been a growing space for us industry-wise. Uh, facilities management has been, probably been our lo largest industry over our, the you know, 12 years we've been in business. Uh, and then slowly building a, 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 some expertise along the healthcare line. So right. we'll you know, spread of industries that we're serving today you know, by focusing on the technology and really ensuring that we're building good, strong you know, principles behind how we go about our software development 
you know, we can really meet the needs of multiple industries. So I, I have really two more questions for you because I don't want to take a lot of your time and I know you're super. No problem. Uh, you know, I like to think of what's the world before and after someone's provided something. And I'm curious, like when you've worked with clients, you know, they, they probably had experience before Solbag. I'm curious what the world looked like after Solbag and, and how did things change for them? You know, one of the things that we've done, we've built an outsourcing model that really has been reactionary towards our client successes. We've wanted to build an outsourcing model that helps the clients kind of overcome their pains and troubles. Part of our success has been able to take the pain and frustration out of technology outsourcing. You know, on top of that, one of the things that when you look at our metrics, we've been able to reduce the total cost of ownership for development projects at our clients somewhere just over 32% uh, reduction in cost. Um, quality metrics right now, we're running just over, I guess it was an average of 97.8% as far as quality across all of our projects. And ultimately, it's about delivering on time, which we have delivered. Every project we've been engaged on, we've delivered as asked, as contracted, to ensure that our clients have been you know, 100% satisfied. And that's, I guess, at the end of the day, it's important. We're giving our clients what they've asked for, and then a lot of times a little bit more uh, because it met the business needs. I mean, that's it. For, I think, first of all, it's pretty impressive that you have those numbers. So you're, you're actually measuring the results that you're delivering. And second, I mean, they're obviously like, you know, everyone wants to see some past. <laughs> all right, um, I'll, I'll do that again. So, you know, I think it's interesting that, first of all, that you measure those things. That's really interesting to me. And second, that, you know, the results are so impressive. So I think that's really interesting. Yeah, a lot of that comes with, you know, working over time for working for 10 years. You know, part of making your organization better is understanding where your, where your weaknesses are. And part of our process, you know, technology outsourcing is a very competitive marketplace. Mm -hmm. A lot of players in the marketplace, a lot of them say they do great things. Part of our strategy is to look at what we're doing to ensure that we're doing it right. If we're not or we're falling behind, we've got to do process improvement to ensure that we're always going to deliver what our clients ask for. We're very well aware they could go anywhere they need to to find these services. They come to Soul Big because they have confidence that we deliver right the first time. They have confidence we listen to their needs and that we work together with them to, in order to build a solution that's really going to not only meet their expectations, but exceed the business goals that they've put in place. Uh, so final question really is, what's the best way for people to get started or to connect with you? You know, like we engage our clients in a lot of different ways, but a lot of them just start with that initial phone call. Let's have that discovery call. Let's identify the challenges our clients are facing. Let's look at what those end results, what are the goals uh, our, our clients are looking to reach? And give us an opportunity to put a solution together for you. Go back, design, develop a solution and a process that's going to meet your business needs. In some cases, it's a you know, proof of concept. Where we're going to go out and build a, you know, a small piece of the product to show you how it's going to meet your business needs, how it's going to integrate with your systems to prove the value of, of the solution that we've built. Uh, but ultimately, it comes down to that initial discovery conversation to talk about what you're trying to get accomplished and how we can help you get there. That's awesome. All right. Well, listen, I appreciate you jumping on and talking about what you guys do. No, I appreciate the time. Hold on I'm going to edit that. That's fine. <laughs> we got a Christmas hat that popped in the... <laughs> um, Tis the season. <laughs> yeah, is that funny? Um, well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and share with me uh, what you guys are doing. And it sounds like uh, you're doing some exciting things and I'm always excited to learn more. So appreciate you uh, taking time out of your day to talk. No, I'm glad we had a chance to chat and you know talk to you more about Soul Big. We're really proud of what we've done so far and we really see a bright future ahead so you know we appreciate your time as well no problem have a great day you too thanks